Picture endless rows of green sugar cane swaying gently in the warm tropical breeze, stretching as far as the eye can see. These simple plants hold the secret to one of the world's most essential ingredients, sugar. Every single day, factories around the globe process millions of tons of sugarcane to create the pure white crystals that sweeten our lives in countless ways. From your morning coffee to your favorite desserts, sugar is everywhere, touching nearly every aspect of our daily routine. Today, we're taking you inside this fascinating world to see exactly how nature's sweetness becomes the sugar on your table. It's a journey that combines ancient agricultural wisdom with cutting-edge modern technology, creating one of the most important industries on Earth. Welcome to Process Crate, where we explore the amazing processes behind everything. Our journey begins in vast plantations spread across tropical and subtropical regions worldwide, where sugarcane grows under the intense warmth of the sun. These aren't ordinary plants. Sugarcane can grow up to 4 meters tall and takes anywhere from 12 to 18 months to mature fully. Each thick, sturdy stalk is packed with natural sugars that will eventually become the refined sugar we know and love. Modern farmers use specially selected cane varieties that have been developed over decades to produce the highest possible sugar content. These varieties are chosen not just for sweetness, but also for their ability to resist diseases, withstand harsh weather conditions, and grow efficiently in different soil types. The selection process is crucial because it determines the quality and quantity of sugar that can be extracted later. Planting machines work efficiently across the vast fields placing carefully cut cane pieces into soil that has been specially prepared for optimal growth. A single modern planting machine can plant several rows simultaneously, covering large areas in just one day. This mechanized approach ensures consistent spacing, proper depth, and uniform growth conditions across entire plantations. The modern approach not only saves time, but also ensures consistent growth patterns and maximum sugar production from every hectare of land. Growing perfect sugarcane requires careful attention to water management and nutrient delivery throughout the growing season. Modern irrigation systems deliver water directly to the plant roots through sophisticated networks of pipes and sprinklers, ensuring each stalk gets exactly what it needs to grow strong and sweet. These advanced systems are much more efficient than traditional flooding methods, using significantly less water while producing substantially better results. Throughout the growing season, farmers monitor their crops closely, watching for signs of disease, pest problems, or nutrient deficiencies. Healthy sugarcane develops thick, robust stalks filled with sweet juice, the precious raw material for sugar production. The plants require specific nutrients at different stages of growth, and modern farming techniques ensure these nutrients are delivered at precisely the right times and in the right quantities. After many months of careful cultivation and growth, the cane reaches maturity and is ready for the next crucial step in its journey to become refined sugar. Before harvesting begins, there's an important preparation step that might surprise many people. Controlled burning of the sugarcane fields this traditional practice, which has been used for generations, serves several important purposes that make the entire harvesting process more efficient and effective. The controlled burning removes dry leaves, weeds, and other unwanted vegetation that would otherwise interfere with harvesting machinery. More importantly, it doesn't harm the valuable sugar stored inside the thick stalks, but it does make the job much easier and safer for both workers and the massive harvesting machines that will soon arrive to collect this sweet crop. After the controlled burning is complete, the fields are left with clean, accessible sugarcane stalks standing ready for harvest. The stalks stand clean and accessible, perfect for the powerful machines that will soon arrive to begin the intensive harvesting operation. Harvesting sugarcane is truly an impressive sight to behold, combining power, precision, and efficiency in ways that would have been unimaginable just a few decades ago. Massive harvesting machines, some weighing over 20 tons, move methodically through the fields, 
cutting, cleaning, and chopping the mature cane in one continuous, highly coordinated operation. These remarkable machines can process up to 100 tons of sugarcane per hour, working much faster and more efficiently than any manual harvesting operation could ever achieve. The speed and precision of these machines is essential because sugarcane must be processed quickly after cutting to preserve its sugar content. The harvesters don't just cut the cane, they perform multiple operations simultaneously. They cut the stalks at ground level, remove any remaining leaves and debris, chop the stalks into uniform pieces of the perfect size for processing, and load everything directly into transport trucks that travel alongside the harvesting machines. This integrated system ensures that fresh, clean sugarcane reaches the processing plant as quickly as possible, preserving the maximum amount of sugar content inside each piece. The harvesting operation runs around the clock during peak season, with powerful lights allowing the machines to work efficiently even during nighttime hours. This continuous operation is necessary to process the enormous quantities of sugarcane that must be harvested within the optimal time window. Once harvested, time becomes critically important in maintaining sugar quality. Fresh sugarcane must reach the processing plant as quickly as possible to prevent the natural sugars from deteriorating or converting to other compounds. Large, specialized trucks, each capable of carrying up to 40 tons of chopped cane, create a constant convoy from the fields to nearby processing facilities. The journey from field to factory is carefully coordinated to minimize delays and ensure the freshest possible raw material arrives at the processing plant. Loading procedures are standardized to maximize truck capacity while ensuring safe transport, and routes are optimized to reduce travel time and fuel consumption. At the sugar processing mill, the real transformation begins as tons of fresh sugar cane arrive every hour, ready to be converted into pure sugar crystals through a series of carefully controlled industrial processes. The first step involves thoroughly washing the incoming cane to remove any remaining dirt, debris, or foreign materials that might have been picked up during harvesting and transport. After washing, the clean sugar cane enters the heart of the operation. Massive crushing machines that extract every possible drop of sweet juice from the tough fiber stalks. These crushing machines, called mills, are engineering marvels that consist of multiple sets of heavy steel rollers that progressively squeeze the cane as it passes through. The crushing process typically involves three to six separate mill units working in sequence. Each mill applies tremendous pressure, progressively extracting more juice from the cane fiber. The machines can process and extract juice from up to 150,000 liters worth of cane every hour, operating continuously throughout the processing season. What remains after the crushing process is called bagasse, the fibrous material that's left after all the juice has been extracted. This bagasse isn't waste, however. Most modern sugar mills burn this fiber material as fuel to power their operations, making the sugar production process remarkably energy efficient and environmentally sustainable. The extracted juice at this stage is cloudy and contains many impurities that must be removed before it can be converted into pure sugar crystals. The extracted cane juice isn't ready to become sugar yet. It contains numerous impurities including plant materials, minerals, and other compounds that must be carefully removed through an extensive purification process. The juice first goes through preliminary screening to remove any large particles or fiber pieces that may have escaped the crushing process. Next, the juice undergoes a sophisticated cleaning process involving chemical treatment and filtration. Lime is added to the juice to help neutralize acids and precipitate impurities, which can then be removed through settling and filtration processes. This step is crucial for producing high-quality sugar with the proper color and taste characteristics. The purified juice is then concentrated through a carefully controlled heating process that takes place in large evaporation vessels. 
As water evaporates from the juice, it becomes progressively thicker and more concentrated, with the sugar content increasing from about 15% to over 60%. This concentration process requires precise temperature control to prevent the sugars from breaking down or developing unwanted flavors. Multiple evaporation stages are used to efficiently remove water while preserving sugar quality. The concentrated juice, now called syrup, is ready for the final and most critical step, crystallization into pure sugar. Here's where the true magic happens, transforming liquid syrup into solid sugar crystals through a precisely controlled crystallization process that requires both scientific knowledge and practical experience. The concentrated syrup is heated in special vacuum chambers called crystallizers that create the perfect environmental conditions for sugar crystal formation. Inside these vessels, the syrup is heated to specific temperatures while vacuum pumps reduce air pressure, allowing crystallization to occur at lower temperatures than would be possible under normal atmospheric conditions. This controlled environment prevents the sugar from caramelizing or developing off flavors during the crystallization process. The crystallization process begins when tiny sugar crystals, called seed crystals, are introduced into the concentrated syrup. These microscopic seeds provide nucleation points around which larger crystals can grow in an organized uniform manner. Over several hours, millions of sugar crystals form and grow larger as more sugar molecules attach to the existing crystal structures. The process requires constant monitoring and adjustment of temperature, pressure, and timing to ensure optimal crystal formation. Experienced operators can judge the progress of crystallization by observing the syrup's appearance and behavior, making fine adjustments to produce the highest quality sugar crystals. The result is a thick mixture of pure sugar crystals suspended in the remaining liquid called mother liquor or molasses. The mixture of sugar crystals and molasses must now be separated to produce pure, dry sugar crystals. This separation is accomplished using powerful centrifuge machines that spin at high speeds, using centrifugal force to separate the heavier sugar crystals from the lighter liquid molasses. These centrifuges operate at speeds of over 1,000 revolutions per minute, creating forces many times greater than gravity. The sugar crystals are pressed against the perforated walls of the centrifuge basket, while the molasses is forced through the perforations and collected separately. The molasses itself is a valuable byproduct used in various food products and industrial applications. The separated sugar crystals still need final processing to become the perfect white sugar consumers expect. They're dried using heated air to remove any remaining moisture, ensuring the sugar will have a long shelf life and won't clump together during storage. The dried crystals are then carefully screened and graded to ensure uniform size and quality. Quality control systems continuously monitor every batch of sugar, testing for purity, moisture content, color, and crystal size. Only sugar that meets strict international standards for food-grade sugar is approved for packaging and distribution. Finally, the pure white sugar crystals are packaged into various sizes of bags and containers using automated packaging systems. From small household bags to large industrial containers, the sugar is carefully measured, packaged, and labeled before being shipped to destinations around the world. And there you have it, the incredible journey from towering sugarcane stalks swaying in tropical fields to the pure white sugar crystals that sweeten our daily lives. Every single grain of sugar represents months of careful growing, precise harvesting, and sophisticated processing that combines agricultural expertise with advanced industrial technology. This remarkable process demonstrates how modern agriculture and manufacturing work together to transform nature's raw materials into the refined products we depend on every day. From the farmers who nurture the growing cane to the skilled technicians who operate the processing equipment, countless people contribute to bringing this essential ingredient to tables around the world. The sugar industry continues to evolve, incorporating new technologies and sustainable practices to meet growing global demand while protecting the environment for future generations. This is Process Crate, 
revealing the fascinating stories behind the everyday products that shape our lives. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed learning about sugar production and subscribe to our channel for more amazing process videos that show how ordinary products are made. Thanks for joining us on this sweet journey from field to table.